everyone, it's Angela Dahlgren, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY Disney lampshade. Here's everything you're going to need. First, you want to pick out a silhouette. I just googled Disney silhouettes and picked from there, and then here I shrunk it down and cut it out. Next, you're going to need either scissors or an X-Acto knife. I used the scissors to cut out the silhouette, but when you trace it onto the paper, it's probably better to have that X-Acto knife. Scotch tape, and then the last is, of course, your lampshade. Oh, and cardstock. This is just thicker construction paper. So I've cut out a silhouette of the castle and I've taped it to the cardstock or the hard kind of construction paper. And now I'm just going to take scissors, or in my case, an X-Acto knife, and I'm going to cut out the silhouette onto the cardstock. Once you're done cutting it out, just peel it off the tape. And there you have the stenciled castle. Now I'm just gonna pop out the silhouette. Now some pieces are gonna be a little stuck, so just take your X-Acto knife and kind of cut it as you go. So I just finished cutting this out, and it did take quite a while, so some patience is involved. And you can do this two ways. If you want the silhouette to be in the lampshade more permanently, you can get a spray-on adhesive, spray it on here and stick it right on. However, I want to be able to replace mine whenever I want. So I have just some scotch tape, and you're going to place it inside, take just a little bit, place it where you want it and add the tape. And I like this idea because if you get sick of it, you can just make another silhouette and tape that one right in. So now I've put the lampshade back on the lamp, as you can see, and we're gonna turn it on and see how it worked. So here we have our finished DIY Disney lampshade. If you decide to try this out, please take a picture and post it to my Twitter, at Angela Dahlgren. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!